Yeah. So, um, is there any advice you could give me for when uh, to break that habit of like pushing the ball when I throw, and um, when I hit, like um, you know, being more smooth and uh, you know, not use my muscles as much. You yeah, know, like as, forcing it. As far as throwing, um, I'm pretty. I've always been a not so smooth type player, so. Uh, you ask the wrong person when it comes to that. But as far as uh, uh, as far as playing and, and throwing, I mean, um, I think I know you're not hurt, but it seems like something is still hurting, and maybe even mentally, you think something's hurting. Um, right. Yeah. Um, so you know, I had that problem too. Uh, what I did was I went to I was having an issue like pretty similar to what you're going through, and and I would like push the ball from like third base to first base and it was more just a mental block and mm. so what i did was almost like having the yips and uh what i did was i went all the way back to the back of third base and i would fill ground balls and i would throw as hard as i can across the diamond and what that did was that took all my thought process everything went away so it was just me throwing being athletic and throwing the baseball see when you're younger mm -hmm. you were just being athletic and you're going out there and play now we got all this information all that stuff and that's like basically clouding your judgment so if i had to tell you one thing that you should what i would advise i would say go out there and just let it eat don't even think about it if you throw it away you throw it away just throw as hard as you can and then the other okay. thing i would do is do long toss to help yourself um get that extension through the ball instead of a push and again that's what i did is i was pretty much long tossing from third base like the deep deep pat part of third base all right. the way to first base and so i was just launching the ball on the line and when i started filling the ball regular i was just throw it like I was launching it and I would be more athletic and my ball had a rise on it instead of just tossing the ball like a rainbow to third to first base. And as far as hitting, I would do the same thing. Hitting, I've never really had that struggle of the push, but um, I would just do the same thing as far as like, um, you know, let me eat. Um, but my question is, I know you're in the gym and you're strong, but how often are you actually pra practicing? How often as you, are you swinging? I know it's hard with the COVID situation, um, but, you know, the kinks of your swing and stuff will all come out if you're practicing pretty, um, you know, routinely. Right. Um, I haven't really been hitting. Um, and then with my friends, I've been throwing like uh, twice like twice once or twice a week um, yeah yeah if you could start throwing more and start hitting more all your kinks will start coming out you know baseball is a skilled game it's literally about you know how often you do it. it's just math you know um i like to get it I, I used to go to the field earlier than everybody go into the cage and hit and um i used to be there by myself because i enjoyed it i wanted to be there and uh then next thing you know i was leading the team and hitting and everyone's like oh how are you doing it well i put the time in it was there's no secret formula it's like you just got to do it you know you got philip over here phil carter he's he collects he has so many autographs and if you went to his home you'd be like man how'd you get all this and it just took a little every day he just collected collected every <laughs> single day and next thing you know he has a huge collection and it's like there's there's no secret formula um there's no you know I, it's not like we're gonna get rich here like if you're mm -hmm. trying to be successful you gotta do what you've been doing you're in class right now every day you show up you do your homework you 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 go to sleep you wake up you do it all over again it's just it's just math man just how often are you going to do it you know so if you're trying to get better at it if you're trying to make the team you just gotta put it you gotta be you gotta commit to it right now you don't look to me you don't sound like you committed you want it but you're not committed saying the reason i brought him up is because it's basically the analogy of what i'm saying as far as like putting in the work day in day out how long have you been fo right. following me on youtube um i i think a few months now um I, I i think i just came across you 
um i had no idea who you were um and like you know i was like wow like this guy's saying a lot of legit stuff you know and then i showed my dad my dad like he studies the game you know a lot um he's like yeah like subscribe to him like he's saying some really really true stuff so that's um, awesome the reason i brought that up is because um i don't know if you've been seeing lately but i've been posting a lot of content now and I want to grow my audience. So how to grow the audience? Just keep putting out content. I got to show up every single day. So now I'm committed. I'm like, you know what? This is what I want to do. I want to grow my audience. I'm committed to it. So I am just pumping out content every single day. Like after this video, I'm I'm basically planning to make more videos. So I'm like going nonstop trying to do this, but I'm committed. And as far as you, as far as you, as far as Phil, they're committed. He's committed. So I'm saying mm -hmm. to you, it's like, now you need to commit. You can't be right. half in, half out and want to get high level results. And I think that's something that we're seeing across the youth. They're like, oh, I want to play D1, but they're only practicing one time a week. And it's like, it doesn't work like that. It, right. it doesn't, you know, I grew up, I was practicing basically five to six times a week. I only had like one day off. And I was doing it because I enjoyed being at the cage. I enjoyed it every mm. single day. And same thing with this YouTube stuff. I'm making no money, but I'm enjoying the process. So I think for right. you, it's like, what is it that you enjoy and do it as consistently and as often as possible? But I know right now at UMass, it's probably kind of hard to uh, do some stuff. So I, I think... Right. I think every know. everything was shut down like we yeah. could we, we couldn't even leave only to get food we were allowed to leave our dorms um yeah. so everything just started opening back up again um like the past uh like two two or three weeks awesome well ishmael how is it is ishmael 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 um yep. i appreciate you asking the question jumping on here showing your face that's pretty cool um <laughs> and uh i'm gonna be Thank going you. live again next week um if you have any more questions if you want to jump back on definitely okay. um you know get back and you know I'm, I'm willing to help best i can um if you watch any of my videos this week comment below and um you know I'll, I'll get back to you as soon as i can i'm definitely here to help you so um awesome. you know hey good luck and i hope you make that team man i mean if you want it you, you can you can you Thanks. just got to commit to it. I got to be hungry. You got to be hungry. Hey, <laughs> I'm posting videos every single day. I'm right. and, and I'm going live right now. It's 930. I haven't even ate dinner yet. Right. <laughs> so I'm, I'm going for it, you know. And look, we got 13 people on. There's probably going to be another, you know, 20 people. There's probably going to be 100 people watch this video by the end of the night. And it's right. growing. So you just got to commit. Ask that once you commit, you'll start doing the right things, you know. But you can't be half in, half out. Mm -hmm. Facts. So, Jermaine, right. thank you so much. It was nice to meet you. Nice uh, to meet you too.